wood is going to be used to make an insect hotel, like this one. This is Rory, and he's going to be using this big green machine. It's called a plane. A plane is a bit like a giant potato peeler. As Rory pushes the piece of wood through the plane, it peels off the top layer just like potato skin. It means he can get the wood to just the right thickness for the insect hotel. Next, Rory cuts the wood to the right length using a saw. Now, Rory uses a different saw, which is on a slope, so he can cut the ends at angles. Rory's fixing the three pieces of wood together using screws and an electric screwdriver. He's also adding an extra piece of wood in the shape of a triangle to make the back. Now the frame is made smooth with a sander, and then it's painted with wood stain to protect it from the rain. So the frame is ready, but what about all the bits that go on the inside? Well, first, we need a block of wood for all the insects to crawl into. But for that, we need to make them some hiding places. Do you know how we might do that? This camera lets me see things that move quickly, slowed right down. Are you ready? Let's go. Can you see the drill has sharp edges? And as it turns round and round, it cuts through the wood and churns it out as dust. And this is what it looks like when all the holes have been drilled. And the block fits inside the insect hotel, just like that. But there are more nooks and crannies to be made. And that's where all this comes in. It's called bamboo. Bamboo is a type of plant. It's a panda's favourite food and it grows in long hollow tubes that we call cane. The great thing is all this bamboo cane makes a fantastic home for spiders, wood lice and even earwigs. They love just creeping into all of the holes. So Rory and I are going to fill the leftover space in the insect hotel with the cane and Rory's going to let me help him. I'm adding a big splodge of glue to hold everything in place. Grab a handful of canes. Yeah, any size. All the different ones. We've got to use a lot of bamboo canes to fill the spaces. What do you reckon? That'll do. And here it is, our finished insect hotel.